Hello everybody, this is Akepest Games and welcome back to Cross of Let's Build. Today we're gonna build another art build. And for this we are gonna use the Wyvern together with the aircraft engine and make some kind of dragster build. So I'm gonna start with two A by fours. Put the Wyvern almost entirely in the back and the aircraft engine in the actually all the way in the front. I am gonna put some uh, parts in between between here. Let's see where is it. There we go, our oblique slopes. Which are gonna go here. Got a tiny space right here. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet. I could add an ammo pack, but I'm gonna go for the repair and the repair doesn't use ammo, so that's not really necessary. Instead actually Let's actually mount this thing a little bit forward, the main cabin, because then we can put a gun in the back on a gun mount. I actually gotta build something similar to the, uh, let's see, the uh, iron tail in. Okay, you can see here. Engine in the front. This thing is actually really, really long. <laughs> so now we're realizing how long its monstrosity is. But yeah. Actually, let's make this thing in the. Let's make it a little bit longer. Kind of put actually put the uh, four by four in the middle, because in the middle gets less chance to be shot off, and then you have the high health pool of this one, so you, it has a low chance of actually getting shot off. And then uh, put uh, an effort bumper as well, as same as he did. As the other boat is, but we are gonna use. Um, Six wheels, or actually, let's use eight wheels. I make this a very, very long dragster build. Make it even longer. <laughs> yeah, this thing is gonna be very, very long. Oh, it's a gunfire rig. Start out with some normal fenders in front. Right here. Then we are gonna put uh, some small fenders in the back as well, but I'm gonna put them like so. And then I'm. I kind of wanna add. Actually, yeah, let's put them in the front so we can put the bunny in the rear. Put this rear and a bonnet and the back. I don't know how to pronounce bonnet, but it's French bonnet, but no idea. <laughs> now we got a gonna put a weapon cooler in here, at least one. And I want to put the gun mounts on the back somewhere around here. But first, we're gonna add some. If you slopes here, and then actually, I do we got a do we got a part yet? Yeah, we got it one. Let's add this thing. It will move up, and then we got the same height right here. So then I can get something. What is this? We guys should gonna add this one right here. Nah, let's keep it like so. And instead of these ones, Oops. like this. Get them to go correctly. And then I want to add the mini fence side parts. So first, and then add the where is it? A, the avia fenders. I want to add them in the size. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, they look good right there. But um, let's add them right here. In the back. If we got four of them, don't we? No, we do not have four of them yet. Gotta level one more in the 
in the uh, nomads that before I got them. And then we gotta put some of these in here before adding the. Oh, damn it! If you're gonna do that, I will need actually need this one on this side as well. Hmm, difficult choices. I guess I'll go for this first and then take a look later at how I'm gonna do the other side. So we got that part. Then I'm gonna put the en some kind of engine deck right here and then before moving downwards. Uh, for downwards I'm gonna use some simple medium struts. Looks fine. And then I'm gonna use some um, uh, quarter bells to run along that side. I was already using 43 parts, so I'm actually taking quite a lot of few parts up. This is how long is this? Uh, let's count using one of these. Six long. So we're gonna use a canvas roof for that. It'll stick down out one under, but that is fine. And now we gotta find something at the big top part. How are we gonna do that? Uh, let's see. If you higher up, make this a little bit higher up first. And let's see if we got something we can use in the ABC section. Can we move this thing one forward here? Can we? No, we can't. So I guess we have actually this is two up for long. What else do we got for two up for long? Oh, we got this thing. We got these things. That look actually looks pretty cool, so let's go with that. Uh, add a second cooler first. We got actually pretty deep room in there. Got two coolers, then we got ourselves a fuel barrel. Right there. The light engine to boost our... Oh wait. <laughs> we got the aircraft engine, of course, so we can put that in there. Uh, let's for now f close it off. Want to add a little short machine gun right on top of there. So we got the machine gun, we got the auto cannon repair up top. Kind of want to put this on some gun mounts, but. Let's see, if we put this down like so, it might actually look like it's still part of this thing. And then put this thing on top of there. So, same height still, but let's see how this thing performs. Pretty crazy acceleration. It's a lot of kind of machine gun combo. How much the power squirt's over 4,000. Oh god, this is gonna be very hard to play with in actual combat. I wanna fill up this area first. That's better. And that's about it really. Let's see if we've got anything we want to add still. I guess we can add somewhere a radar on this thing. No, that should fit a radar. On some of the builds at least. <laughs> mm, this looks like we can fit one though, so let's... Mm, anything else? Let's see. Kind of want to add something on this thing. It's kind of hard to do. Just keep it like this. <laughs> That would make it look fat. <laughs> Run it. Let's see. 
this compared to this. Yeah, it look, makes it look fat. Let's just keep it like this. Get the paint job pretty quickly. Actually, actually, I look at this thing. It's a tiny edge and it triggers me. So let's add just something to detail it off. <laughs> and then let's go into a battle. I have to say, I do like the look of the front. Like the grill and then the uh, two almost like flat uh, the lights or something. <laughs> and then, yeah. Of course, got the cabin in the center. The large rear cap point. This is actually going to be something like how a hover is going to look like, probably. And then using hovers instead of wheels. Because, of course, you have to realize that hovers, you cannot put the um, generator underneath the cabin because you're going to be hovering so up high that they're just going to see it and shoot it. Let's see what we got here. I believe I'm stable enough to just jump down like this. So I'm going to go for the cap zone. Or I'm just going to run away and not Get stuck, oh no. Oh no, oh no. This is not good. This is very not good. I gotta get out of here. This guy's chasing me. Roadster. Yes, push me. Bring me a few. I got a machine gun. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Rip. Here we got this auto cannon guy. Triple cannon at this tier already? <laughs> Not a triple cannon. Damn. And another one? How many triple cannons are there? Holy shit. <laughs> A lot of triple cannons. Are there other just three left? Cannon users have got a total of eight cannons on these three guys. Damn. That might actually be a fun thing to build as well, actually. Triple cannon. Base tier. Um, again, gotta put some music on in a second. Oh, got more freaking advertisements. There we go. Go into the second match.
was the music again, guys. Yeah, last match got struck with the guns. I only have two guns on a 10 energy build, a total of 6 energy only. Especially one being a short at 4,000 <laughs> 4, per hour score. Not gonna last very long. Looks like one or two enemies are at the cap zone. Barely one, the other one is in hiding. So we win. That's that. That was the ledge match for today. <laughs> today. This is the first time I actually got the fuel. And level 10 in scavengers. Got a new blueprint, some large fender, long pipe shield. That's nice. I also got a trucker cabin back. There we go. Finally got all my rare cabins back again. Just <laughs> selling a few of them a while back. Uh, so now cabin wise I can do any build again. That's a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the um, upcoming new uh, faction. And actually this is the thing I, we got. Yeah, Rhino. It's not really great to build. It's a little bit too uh, slow. It has to degenerate in the back where it could otherwise be put on the bottom rear or something. The gun is rather exposed. You could have to move the side to the roof, probably. Uh, side armor is nice, but it's, uh, I would strip the rear armor and put it on the sides of the in front of the cabin as well, on the sides of the guns. Uh, also, I think that's an ammo pack over there. <laughs> Not pretty great. Of course, you, yeah, those are ammo packs definitely. But yeah, you should uh, you should never use these builds anyways because they're all pretty damn terrible. I mean, hardly any armor on the cabin. On pretty much every build you see here, uh, it's pretty consistent. So, especially this thing. I mean, come on, 260 health points at 3,000 power score. You're not gonna last very long. <laughs> but that's that. I want to thank you all for watching again, and I will see you guys all later. Bye bye.